Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are playing some Disney Dreamlight Valley. We will be designing in the lagoon area of the jungle and I just want to give y'all the heads up that this is such a massive build. It's going to be a lot of detail and a lot of space. With all that being said, today's speed build will be a little bit longer than usual. As we get started, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future. It really does help me out. So for the entry, of our build I'm gonna go for almost like a boardwalk sort of effect and then frame it in with some fencing and greenery as for the side of casita I think we're gonna do almost like a patio sort of effect with it I will also be using a swimming pool item to kind of serve as a transitional spot in front of casita which will connect to both the inclines in the location too I really liked in this biome how there was this really nice circular dirt path area so this is kind of gonna be the yard of casita and then I'm just gonna frame my greenery around it. I think my plan in the dirt path locations is to do a large sitting area and then maybe a little tea sitting spot. I'm not really sure what to do on the left side yet. I'm trying to keep it as simple and functional as possible. Since there are several mining deposits in this location, I want to make sure I can access all of them. So now that I have the base for Casita, I'm going to go ahead and start placing the sun-baked dirt path and this is from the Sunlit Plateau and this is going to serve as a transition spot as mentioned earlier in the video. I actually really struggled with this build today because not to mention it's a lot of space and just trying to figure out the layout in general was really difficult for me so be ready to see me going back and forth a bajillion times throughout this video today. For today's build we're also going to be using the large jungle trees just because I really want this to feel overgrown. I also recommend using this because it's going to fill up more space especially when you're working in a large area like we are today and it's going to count less towards your item limit. So normally when I'm working with a dirt path I really like to frame this in with the small rock items but instead I'm going to be taking advantage of the new greenery that we get in the underbrush category because it's going to make this feel a lot more natural and not as structured. I also really love the new underbrush too because it allows you to clutter in smaller locations so you're not having to use a ton of different florals throughout the build which will count more towards your item limit. So definitely take advantage of this new underbrush that we just just got with the DLC. For the next stage of the build, I'm gonna be taking advantage of these large rock cluster items. Just like I mentioned earlier, this is gonna fill up more space, especially when you're working in a larger area. But before I start detailing that location, I'm actually gonna start my little porch area right next to Casita. I'm gonna frame in my porch area using the new trellis items that we got with the DLC, and then I'm gonna use more of the plank pathing just to frame in that area a little bit more and add some extra detail. I'm also gonna move over another ancient tree just to kind of like frame in the location so I want a larger tree in the background framing in casita and one closer to the incline. After I got that ancient tree placed I'm going to go ahead and start detailing the yard over here and this is going to be that spot we mentioned earlier in the video where I'm going to have a simple cobblestone path transitional spot that way we can still access that mining node. After adding some extra greenery around the large tree it's time to start detailing our porch area Area right next to Casita. I'm gonna do a small sitting area and then we're gonna also have a bunch of different pots and plant clutter. I'm also super excited that we got the new stacked crate item with the DLC because it just helps fill in space and adds so much detail when you're doing cluttered cottage core like areas. I'm also gonna prep out a sitting area right in front of Casita while we detail the porch area just because I was stumbling on those items while looking for specific things for our porch. As mentioned earlier in this video I really struggled with Casita. It's just a really big building and hard to design around. Something I wish that Disney Dream My Valley had was pink trees in the similar color that Casita has on the roof. I just think those would have been absolutely stunning for this build. So since we don't have those trees I settled for the flowering ancient tree and I just think that complements Casita really well but of course if you don't like those trees you can totally swap them out. I really tried to focus all the greenery blending in with the jungle kind of land landscape but also imagine with Casita's colors too. Anyways once I finish adding some details to our front porch area we're going to start detailing the front yard and our other sitting location. I think to connect this porch area with the front part of Casita we're going to do a cobblestone like pathing and eventually we're going to add more to this that will transition over to the mining node that is 
left and right of this build. All the rock-like items that I'm using in today's build is going to be from the Forest of Valor because it's a perfect match to the jungle grass. But of course, we're going to be using the jungle foliage and rocks too in today's build. As you can see so far, I have been so back and forth through today's build because as I was looking for items for Casita, I kept stumbling on things that would look good for the porch in our other sitting location. So you're going to see me, like I mentioned earlier, going all over the place on today's build. It was such a big design, so I was like filling in everywhere as I stumbled upon certain items. So the cactus plant that you're seeing there that we can harvest, I'm actually going to be removing this. Originally, I was wanting to use them with Casita because it complemented its color palette, but instead, I'm going to save this for a future desert build instead. I think it'd be really cool to place Prince Eric in the desert, so that is going to be one of my future builds. I just need to obviously get some items for it. So I think these cactus plants would look so good with that and add a nice pop of color. So let me know if y'all are interested in that build in the next coming videos. I do have our fairy bloss home that I'm going to be focusing on too over the next couple of days. I have so much planned for us. So with all that being said, if there's something you would love to see on the channel or a building you're struggling with, let me know in the comment section. It might become just a future speed build. Anyways, now that I got most of the base done for Casita, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some more greenery around the landscape locations. I'm going to be using the beach grass, which is my absolute favorite. If you're new to my channel, you're going to see me using this quite a bit. And I absolutely love using the beach grass because you can clutter underbrush inside of it. So if you watched my recent Rapunzel build, you're going to see that I've been able to place the butterfly flower inside that grass in different bushes. So this is a great way to add a overgrown effect to certain builds, but also add a nice little detail without cluttering too much. As mentioned earlier in this video, I really want Casita to be as functional as possible. I really want to make sure the resources I don't have a lot of can still spawn in this location. And this is also why I decided to do the beach beach grass and cobblestone like pathing over here because we need to be able to harvest different types of resources. We also need to be able to get mist with our hourglass. So having some of these locations more open is going to allow us to be able to harvest mist and still have a nicely decorated build. So now that I have that cobblestone path mapped out, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some details to our little outdoor dining location. For our outdoor dining location, I'm going to go ahead and decorate with some food items and then add a couple of enchanted candles to give it a really nice glow. The ideal time for this build is definitely during the evening because I really wanted to focus certain areas with a bunch of glowy aspects. And of course, I just think Casita looks absolutely stunning during golden hour. Now that I have our little dining area finished, it's gonna be time to start detailing the other side of Casita's yard. As mentioned earlier, I'm trying to keep this as functional and simple as possible. I'm also gonna leave some space behind Casita because there's actually a mining node directly behind Behind it, so I'm gonna make sure I can walk around these trees and be able to access that too. I thought the tree with the swing would be such a cute detail with today's build. It's actually a craftable item. You're not going to be able to find this through the furniture tab under the tree and underbrush. I'm not sure when exactly I unlocked this, but I know it was definitely by progressing the DLC and unlocking each biome and gathering resources. Something I wish I could have seen for the swing item is an option for the flowering ancient trees. I just think having both options would be so great for different builds. So maybe we'll see more items like this as they continue to update the DLC and add new expansions too. Before I start working on the tree swing area, I'm actually going to add some more detail over here next to the dirt incline. I think going for something simple like a little bench and a couple of rock details is the best option for this. I don't want to add too much because then I'll use up more of my item limit. On the topic of the item limit before I lose my train of thought, I'm actually quite shocked that it's at 6,000. So hopefully we see an increase in this in a future update. I just know that this 6,000 is not going to last me very long, especially if I'm decorating like we're doing today. And this is honestly one of my more minimalistic designs compared to like builds like I did with the Rapunzel house. So I'm very concerned on how long this item limit is going to last me. Thankfully, Eternity Isle is not my main map, but I still want it to be nicely decorated as I play and visit this location of the game. Anyways, back to the build because trust me, I will complain about this item limit all day. We're going to go ahead and continue working on our casita build. At this stage during our design, we're pretty much getting close to the finishing line of the build besides obviously below where I'm placing the cobble like pathing. That's an empty spot that I don't know what to do with yet. I was considering maybe a farm location, but if you have another idea, let me know in the comment section below. I even considered on placing Moana over here too. It's a really small space though, so I'm thinking if I can't fit a house
house over here, I'll probably just do another sitting like location. I am planning to do a functional farm build for the DLC in the next coming days. So I don't wanna take away from that build either. Anyways, as mentioned earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and extend that cobblestone path just directly behind Casita because there's a mining node over there. I wanna make sure I can access both of these mining nodes and keep it super functional. After adding a few more final details to the yard area, like more beach grass and different florals, it'll be time to do our final walkthrough of how everything turned out in today's speed build. I'm definitely in love with how today's build turned out. If you're one of my regular viewers, you know how much I love jungle core and just tropical style builds in general. I'm really excited with how well Casita looks in the jungle aesthetic because I was running out of room in my main valley and my main valley is my priority so I need as much space as possible. Over by the little lake like area with the waterfall, I'm actually planning on doing some water decorating over here off camera. I was going to do some water lilies and then also place a couple of boats. Anyways, as we continue to walk through the build and also get some overhead shots, I hope that today's speed build brought you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Also, before this video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all the new subscribers that we have on our horrible gaming channel. Thank you so much for subbing to me. I am so mind blown that we are almost a 44k subs. I have a subscriber goal of 45k and it's just so insane to me to know that that's right around the corner. So again, thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for all the support. Anyways, thank you again so very much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.